Hi everyone, it's me, and today, let's watch this video together! Culture Talk, Game Exchange! Hi everyone, Gaijin Kumbi here with another Hello, quick Gaijin spark Kumba. of culture and gaming. So Shovel Knight's heading out the door, and holy crap am I excited for it. Like a wow. lot of indie games I've come to know and love, it's got a lot of familiar aspects to the gameplay while still feeling really fresh. The game Shovel Knight. blends mechanics of Mega Man, Castlevania, and DuckTales, all of which yes. were classics back in the day. All the while, we have brand new heroes, villains, and level designs. And the game mechanic focus of the shovel as a weapon and a tool is probably the most interesting of them all. Are you kidding me? Buen, are you kidding me? What kind of stupid concept is using a shovel for a primary weapon? You're telling me that a shovel outclasses something logical, like a giant sword or a giant gun? Oh goody, another Fumon here to rain on my parade. <laughs> really, Gaijin? You spend so much time cutting us down without a counter-argument. How about you put your money where your mouth is and prove me wrong for once? Oh. Even though I don't take it upon myself to feed the Fumon, I'll make an exception for today. Oh, challenge accepted! The roasts. For those like my ill-mannered ignorant friend here who think a shovel is a stupid idea for a video game weapon, there have been a ton of shovel weapons in video games. Call of Duty, Dead Island, Team Fortress 2, World of Warcraft, and even Neopets for crying out loud. Great job talking about the practicality of a shovel weapon in a non-realistic medium, genius. Oh, shut your trap, I was getting to that. How about this? This is the multifunction folded spade developed by the Chinese military. If you thought a Swiss army knife was something, this thing is incredible. Not only can it dig, but this thing can saw through pipe, mince food, measure distances, cut through barbed wire, act as a climbing anchor, act as a shield, a hammer, a nail puller, a bottle and can opener, a wire tightener, and ore? There's just a lot this thing can do. And it really is an interesting feat seeing just how much function comes out of this really simple looking hand shovel. Makes you think that Shovel Knight's use of the shovel doesn't seem so far-fetched now, does it? Oh, well... Understandably, people might have some doubts, but thank you so much for showing us, educating us. Bah! I didn't see off the wall pogo stick as a shovel utility in that little list you rattled <sighs> off. This oh, you just said pogo stick! Besides, all this talk of technological utilization, isn't there a more popular guy around here that deals with that sort of subject matter? It infinitely better than you? I thought you were the culture guy, so where's my culture? All right, how about this? The heck is that supposed to be? Oh, I know. This, my friend, is what's known as a monk spade, or sometimes referred to as a crescent moon spade. And this Ooh. thing is awesome. Originally, okay. this weapon was used as a generalized tool by Buddhist monks. During their travels, monks would from time to time come across bodies of the fallen on the roads which they traveled. The spade part of the tool was used to easily bury and give last rites to those that had passed but were denied a proper burial. The crescent end of the tool would act as a long-range defense weapon against bandits by catching blades between the crescent. Over time, though, the monks full-out weapon as the tool, and it became a very prominent weapon. True. So how about that, Mr. Doubting Fumon? Can you seriously tell me that a shovel is still an asinine weapon choice after seeing the real-world multifunctional usage and its weaponization and utilization throughout history? It is both useful and... useful. Yeah. Still seems like a stupid concept to me. Who in the right mind is going to see this guy charging the battlefield with a shovel and honestly be intimidating? Why not a real weapon like a gun? It's an overly <laughs> underwhelming design choice and hey! Hey! Don't be a Fumon, my fellow theorists. Always keep your mind open to new things that people try, including Shovel Knight. I freaking love the concept, both artistically and mechanically. Correct. And I think you would too. So until next time, this is Gaijin Goomba, signing out. Thank you so much. I agree with you. It's very important to have an open mind and be understanding for different people from different stuff. Thank you so much. It's always, it's not always a good thing to be narrow-minded, alright? Being stubborn is not necessarily a good thing. Sometimes being open-minded, be understanding, and stand in their shoes is always a good thing. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below if you have anything to share with us. I hope to see you in my next video. But hey, that's just a game. A game exchange. Call the shock. Thanks for watching. Thank you.